time has come. Follow. Death is a fact of life, but he also moonlights as an actor on the side. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 depictions of death or the Grim Reaper in movies. For this list, we're taking a look at fictionalized representations of death brought to life on film. These creepy characters aren't content to wait silently in the wings. They make their presence known in the most dramatic of ways. And while it makes for good movie viewing, we can't help but shudder a little at these personifications of the Grim Reaper. You think I'm afraid of you? The day I've had? I know what you came for. Come and get it, you pussy. Number 10, The Angel of Death, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. You know that name? <laughs> In this visually stunning sequel, Hellboy is on the brink of death when he's brought before a lifesaver. That lifesaver, ironically enough, is the Angel of Death, who just so happens to be hanging around waiting for the opportunity to speak cryptically about forthcoming tragedies. It is his destiny to bring about the destruction of the Earth. While this angel does have wings, it's also breathtakingly disturbing, with its eyeless face, heart of sand. My heart and ability to disappear when its job is done. What about me, friend? Number nine, Death, Cemetery Man. Stop killing the dead. They're mine. Obviously, if you're gonna run into death anywhere, a cemetery would be a likely place. Rupert Everett plays a beleaguered groundskeeper tasked with keeping the town's reanimated corpses at bay. Better get out of here. Even the statues are talking. But when death himself suddenly materializes from fresh ashes, he has some sage advice. Kill the living instead. If you don't want the dead coming back to life, why don't you just kill the living? Maybe we shouldn't be surprised that death is a major advocate of murder. Shoot them in the head. Are you listening to me? Number eight, Joe Black, meet Joe Black. Your death. Yes. It makes sense for Death to choose the body of Brad Pitt in order to woo the daughter of the man he's supposed to be ushering to the other side. Yeah, not Death, he's just a kid in a suit. The suit came with the body I took. Yes, it's completely creepy, but also genius because it's freaking Brad Pitt. Should you say who I am? Our adventure would end abruptly. With his meat suit on, Death is pretty much as cool and measured as you'd expect Death to be, and pretty good at living undercover. A cup of tea. With milk, I think. Like the tried English style. He also manages to have a lot of game with the ladies. Mm. Number seven, The Grim Reaper. Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. When you're hosting a dinner party and happen to be in a particularly good mood, unexpected dinner guests can be a welcome addition. I am death. Yes, well, the thing is, we've got some people from America for dinner tonight. Who is it, darling? It's a Mr. Death or something. He's come about the reaping. That is, when they're not actually there to claim your mortal soul. In this Monty Python comedy, Death joins a lively group of diners at their home. Mr. Death is a reaper. The Grim Reaper. Hardly surprising in this weather. <laughs> Despite Death's skeletal frame and tattered robes, the group seems relatively nonplussed. Maybe that was just a side effect of the salmon moose. How can we all have died at the same time? The salmon moose. Darling, you didn't use canned salmon, did you? Number six, the Red Death, the Mask of the Red Death. There is nothing you can do that are too many. Wait as I tell you. In a movie featuring a satanic cult, you sort of know that death is going to show up at one point or another. 
whether he's mysteriously handling his tarot cards Come closer. or dealing out deadly roses. Death opts for a red cloak as opposed to a standard black ensemble in this 1964 horror flick, which stars Vincent Price. Is my costume such a disguise that you don't recognize me? Price plays Prospero, a prince and major Satanist who attempts to strike a deal with death by the end of the film. Unfortunately for him, the Red Death don't care. Why should you be afraid to die? Your soul has been dead for a long time. Number 5. Death, The Last Action Hero For a movie with so many twists and turns and contemporary film crossovers, you'd think The Seventh Seal would somehow be too old school. Alas, tis not the case, and Sir Ian McKellen strolls through a portal onto the screen in Death's black robe, ready to claim a soul. Where do you think you're going? Back off! You can't have him! As it were, however, the mortally wounded party belongs to a fictional character, and Death doesn't do fiction. I don't do fiction. Not my field. Sorry. Number four, Sam, Trick or Treat. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Kids can occasionally be creepy enough without an association with death attached to them. In this Halloween-themed horror flick, there happens to be a particularly severe pint-sized trick-or-treater who's not in it for the fun. He wants to make sure you follow the rules of Halloween. Mess up and you're probably gonna die, because Sam didn't approve of your choice of candy. Or maybe he thought you phoned it in with your jack-o'-lantern carving. Oh, wait, wait. Not yet. What? You're supposed to keep it lit. Why? Uh, ancient tradition? And this night's over. You know, you should be more careful. There are rules. While this wee one may not necessarily be a reaper, he's definitely a death dealer. <laughs> Number three, Grim Reaper, the Frighteners. Who are you? A ghost that can kill ghosts is pretty much doubly horrifying. The ghost of a serial killer posing as the Grim Reaper? Well, consider yourself screwed. If a guy's like you frighten hell. <laughs> I got out, Frank. <laughs> I've been carrying on the good work. Michael J. Fox stars as a con man with supernatural partners in crime who stumbles upon a pattern of real-life murders. I've seen him reach into people's chests and squeeze their hearts. He eventually encounters the ghost imposter, who's doing a remarkably effective cosplay as the Reaper, complete with leaving dead bodies in its wake. When you meet up with this Reaper, your number is most definitely up. Number two, death. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Whoa! Who are you? Ted! It's the Grim Reaper, dude! This pair's excellent adventure eventually led them to death, which sounds like a total bummer. How's it hanging, death? This sequel follows the time-traveling duo as they work to ensure a future utopian society. No way. This way. Since everyone doesn't enjoy Utopias all that much, the two end up staring death in the face, and then beating him at some board games. J7. You have sunk my battleship. Excellent! Yeah! Death actually seems like a pretty stand-up guy by the end of the whole thing. And we gotta admit, having someone as powerful as that indebted to you seems like a pretty sweet deal. I love show business. <laughs> Before we unearth our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Yeah, could, I, could I get some tequila? Sure, sure, I got great tequila. Why don't you sit down, make yourself at home. You want me to turn on the air conditioner? Your air conditioned here? Sure, it f***s up the ozone layer. Ella. 
The Seventh Seal. Det glädde mig. Nu är jag från dig. Never has a game of chess been so intense and with such high stakes. In this 1957 classic, a knight returns from battle to plague-ravaged Sweden and attempts to make his way home when he encounters death. Jag har väntat. Pale and dressed in a cloak like all good reapers, this death seems just as keen on board games as Bill and Ted's. Har du tappat intresset för vårt spel? and agrees to a chess match that would determine the knight's fate. Villkoret är att jag får leva så länge jag står dig emot. Spelar jag dig matt, förrör du mig. It's a game that lasts the duration of the film with a fairly depressing outcome. Och den stränga herren döden bjuder dem till dans. Han vill att de ska hålla varandra i händerna. Och så ska de tråda dansen i en lång rad. Och först går den stränga herren med, med li och timglas. Do you agree with our list? Which personification of death or the Grim Reaper is your favorite? For more morbid top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Well, that's cast rather a gloom over the evening, hasn't it?